Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make pickled red onions. Making pickled red onions is actually super easy. Today I'm going to show you how to make basic pickled red onions as well as give you a number of flavor options that you can mix and match to customize the red onions to your own personal taste preferences. Pickled red onions are great on tacos, in salads, and pretty much anywhere you'd have a regular red onion, but instead they're pickled and have that extra bite of zingy flavor. To start, we'll head on over to the stove. Pour one and a half cups of white vinegar into a small saucepan, and then you'll need two tablespoons of sugar, which you can leave out if you're watching your sugar, and one tablespoon of salt, and we're gonna bring this to a simmer. I like to add the sugar because it makes your pickled red onions a lot more interesting. You have that contrast of flavor between sweet, salty, and that zingy zip of the vinegar. Once it comes to a boil, you'll want to remove it from the heat and set that aside for just a second. Then you're going to need one sliced red onion, and I like to slice mine on the thin side. You want to stuff your onion and all the little slices into a mason jar. You want to press them down in there nice and tight. One red onion should fit in there quite nicely. Then we're going to take our hot liquid and pour it right over our red onions in there. Fill it all the way to the top. Now at this point you have yourself simple pickled red onions. You can just screw a lid on, let it cool to room temperature, and pop it in the fridge. But I wanted to show you different flavor options you can use to spice things up. I have some fresh thyme leaves, some fresh rosemary, some garlic cloves, a hot habanero pepper, some black peppercorns, some whole cumin seeds, and some whole allspice berries. These are all great flavor combinations to pair with the pickled red onions. You can do each individually or you can mix and match. This first one I'm going to keep nice and simple with about half a teaspoon of black peppercorns. And just put on the lid. Then I just give it a little shake to mix up those black peppercorns, and that's it. This is a really simple pickled red onion. Now this next one I'm going to keep simple as well, and you can see I don't have the liquid in yet, but I'm going to tuck in those thyme leaves, and then I'm going to pour more hot liquid on top. It's a lot easier on some of these to add the liquid last. Then we'll pop the lid on. With some of these it's just easier to add the ingredients in first rather than try and burn yourself tucking them in later. This next one is a bit of a Mexican inspired flavor profile. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, three cloves of garlic, and you want to use whole garlic, and then I'm going to tuck in a habanero pepper as well to add a little bit of spicy heat and pour the liquid right over the top. And of course, it's totally okay if you spill because you should have enough extra. And that's it for that one. The next one, I'm going to add some garlic again, get those tucked in there, as well as some fresh sprigs of rosemary. So we have a little bit of rosemary garlic going on. Once again, just fill it up with the pickling juice, pop a lid on, and there you go. A cute jar of pickled red onions with a rosemary garlic infusion. Sounds delicious. For this last one, we'll keep it simple and add about 10 whole dried allspice berries, and that's it. Give that one a little shake too, and that's it. Five different ways to make pickled red onions so that you can keep everything nice and flavorful. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written instructions in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.